Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV. Welcome to highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against Corby Town from the League Cup on Tuesday evening. It was the Diamonds with the first couple of opportunities in this contest. First Jake Newman here shooting wide. Before Lewis Wilson couldn't quite get onto the end of that cross. Before Corby were able to make a couple of opportunities of their own, here's Stephen Leslie shooting just wide. Before a shot from Jordan Smith required a save from Diamond's Ben Heath. Later on in the first period, Diamonds would get the lead. Defender Liam Dolman rising highest from the corner. 1-0 to the home side in the 44th minute. So at half time, AFC Russian Diamonds 1, Corby Town 0. The first chance of the second period came to the home side as Lewis Wilson's shot required a save from Corby keeper Dan Farrell. That before Corby's Connor Kennedy managed to get into the area, his shot required a save from Diamonds Ben Heath. And the ball was recycled back to Stefan Moore and his shot went just wide. The vital moment in the second period came here as Jake Newman rushed into the area. He was fouled and the referee pointed to the penalty spot. And Liam Dolman stepped up to confidently convert, doubling Diamond's lead in the 56th minute. And Newman was involved again here for the Diamonds, his snapshot requiring a save for Farrell. As the clock ticked down, Corby managed to reduce the arrears. Connor Kennedy with an audacious shot from some distance. 2-1 in the 86th minute. And the Diamonds had Heath to thank here for a double save as the game ticked into injury time. And that's the way the score stayed. Full-time AFC Russian and Diamonds 2, Corby Town 1. That means that Diamonds advance through to the next stage of the League Cup where they will travel to Rugby Town. And the next match for the Diamonds is home this Saturday against Lincoln United. Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at the Dog and Duck after tonight's uh, first round Integral Cup game against uh, local rivals Corby Town. Uh, a much changed di Diamonds team, but one uh, familiar face, and he's man of the match today, as he was on Saturday, Liam Dorman. Liam, let me ask you a straight question. Um, that was a good performance, really, from uh, from the team. Yeah, it was. I mean, we haven't we've had a uh, change round. Obviously, Peaks has felt they needed to give a few people minutes, but. We um we feel that we've got a good squad together now and um whoever comes in can, can put a shift in. I thought the lads that did come in work worked their socks off from minute one to the ninetieth and even the the lads that come on put a shift in when we were digging there in there at the end. So all round a good performance and fully deserved the win I thought. I agree and uh, it was interesting to see who was actually in hospitality. There were more of the the, uh, the squad who was sat there enjoying the game. I think they might be in get worried by uh, by a half time. But let, let's talk about the game. I mean it was uh, pretty new, pretty even first half although we had a couple of early chances. Yeah I mean it, it was a bit scrappy at times and uh, stop start at times. Um, a few tackles going in but you expect that it's a local derby and I mean, we scored from a set piece again, which, like we say, week in, week out, is vital at this level. So that you'll get chances from set pieces, but we got a, we got down the sides of them quite a few times, crossing the box, but just couldn't manage to get it away. I mean, had a few half chances. Ben's made a good save off a deflected shot. So, but I thought towards the end of the game, uh, sorry, the end of the first half, I thought we deserved the the one 0 lead at half time. And a different type of goal on Saturday, near post on Saturday. This was a looping header. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I was just trying to get it back across goal, so, but thankfully it's gone in, they all count, don't they? They do indeed. And second half, uh, we came out well, midfield seemed to have a little bit of control and I thought you were very uh, sound at the back and then we got the penalty, Jake worked really hard in his own up front. I thought that's the best I've seen Jake play for us in a, in a diamond shirt, to be honest, I thought he worked his absolute socks off and he deserved a goal tonight, I mean he had one disallowed, obviously I can't see if he's offside or not, but I thought he didn't, he, did, he led the line very well and it gave us all a incentive to push up behind him and press with him so full credit to him and uh, with Nabil um, in hospitality although I think he was trying to get on the pitch to take that penalty you were the obvious choice and slotted away easily yeah obviously um, at the start of the season I, I said Nabs as a striker should want to take penalties is the, is the, um, is the main goal scorer should we say so I let him have them but it, obviously if he's not on the pitch I'm willing to take them thankfully I slotted it away 
we had to make some changes and uh, nice to see uh, young Ryan Baird on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, he's been training with us for a few weeks and he's got great potential, great feet and we were trying to rein him back in because he's a forward thinking player and at, at times then we had to drag him back in but I think he's definitely one for the future. And they got the goal, old boy Connor Kennedy with the long range uh, caused a few uh, heart flutters at the end. Yeah, obviously it's always going to when you concede late on like that but I thought Ev from 1 to 11, like I said, the subs before, we all put our bodies on line to make sure we didn't concede concede that um, that second goal and see it out. And we did indeed, and uh, I know this competition sometimes doesn't isn't a favourite with the fans or even the, the players, but uh, it's always a great chance to give everybody an opportunity, and that's what it served tonight. Yeah, it's, it's got people minutes, but you play football to win games, that's the be-all and end-all, isn't it? So every game... We go in to win whoever, who's playing or, or whatnot. So we're pleased to get through. But now we've got a massive game Saturday. I think we owe them one. So um, hopefully it'll be, it'll be a tough test because they're a very good side. But we're full of confidence now. So hopefully uh, we can keep the run going. And it'll be better to watch that leading scorer chart. I just said to him, I'm catching him up. He had a little nibble. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thanks, Liam. We're here with uh, manager Andy Peets. Andy, uh, we said on Saturday this uh, was uh, an important game for you and you wanted to win and you got that win. Yeah, delighted. Yeah, definitely. I want to win every game I play uh, or manage, so to speak, or the club play. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a really good performance tonight. You know, some youthful lads out there as well uh, against some experienced players from a league above. So yeah, delighted to win. And uh, seeing he was in hospitality, you did make a number of changes. Yeah, no, it was, it was always going to be the plan because we've got heavy, you know, a lot of fixtures coming up. It's important the boys who have not been playing get minutes so they're fit when they're called upon. Uh, we've got a strong squad, most of them are fit at the moment with a couple of absentees. So I was going to change it around uh, and I think, yeah, I think it got its spot on tonight. But yeah, we've got some good players not playing tonight as well, which is a bonus. Selection problems for Saturday? Yeah, it's probably giving me a few more headaches, but as I said before, I'd sooner have the headaches. Like when we played Lincoln last time, I got headaches. We hadn't really got enough players, so at least this week I've got headaches with too many players. And for me, they're better problems to have. Let's look at the game. Um, fairly even first half, although we did create a number of chances getting down the flanks. I thought we started really well, put a couple of great balls in, and we probably should have scored. Then we didn't. Uh, they came back into it a little bit, didn't they? Um, and then we probably nicked a goal just on half time, which was good for us. So I was, I was happy with the performance, really. It was quite an even game, like I said, but I thought we passed it quite well. I thought the shape was quite good. So I thought we worked really hard first half and second half, and I thought we competed for everything, got a lot of good blocks in. And yeah, so one I was quite happy at half time. We got the penalty, uh, clear penalty. Jake worked really hard up front in his own, didn't he? Yeah, he worked his socks off tonight, as he always is, to be fair. I, th I think the attitude of the whole boys who played the whole 16, really, was spot on, and they all worked really hard. Uh, and that's important. And, you know, the other boys, who didn't play were here and you know I wanted them all to be here because I wanted them to be in it together so it's important who plays works hard they did that Jake Newman did epitomise that he worked his socks off he quite likes that role where he's not really got a partner if we play a free up so he, he tends to run the channels really well and yeah he got his rewards with a penalty and uh, no nab I know he's probably desperate to get on to try and take it but Liam took it and took it well yeah, we had a joke with Nabs before about his goals and penalties and how many scores, so I was quite expecting him to come running down the touchline. I want to take it. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't on the bench, so he couldn't, but now we know Bullies took a few as well, so that's not a problem, is it? 2 0, fairly comfortable. You had to make some changes, and uh, nice to see uh, an under 21 and an academy player get it on. That's uh, Ryan Baird. Yeah, no, it was always going to be the plan, you know, whatever the score was to get some boys on because Ryan's trained, he's done really well for the scholarship and the 21s and the whole idea of this club is to get boys through the system to compete in the first team. He's trained well and deserves his chance. So it was, yeah, it was nice to get him on. Murdy's come in recently, obviously a good chance to get him a little bit of time as well. And Chris the last little bit. So yeah, that was always the plan to get the boys on and we managed to do that as well, so that was pleasing. And I suppose you could have gone for the easy option and just put Brad in uh, to hold, but you didn't. I could have put Brad in there if it was probably a cup final or a league game, which you know we desperately need to see it through. I probably would have done, but I think I'll probably learn more by putting the boys on than if I hadn't done so. Brad was aware of the situation. He was brilliant really covering he could cover the back and midfield, anywhere I suppose, can't he? So he sat there, was never planning to use him unless I had to, so it was the plan to get the others on, and that's exactly how it was. And as uh, Liam said, everybody uh, battled hard and throwing their bodies in the line just like Saturday. Yeah, no, and that's something I want every week. Whoever's playing, it's important we do that. And this group at the moment are doing that. And they're getting they're just desserts for it, really, because you have to survive pressure at times and get blocks on and do the nasty stuff of the game. And they're doing it. And the boys who come in tonight, they didn't think, oh, it's a, not a big game, blah, blah, blah. They just got on with it, treated it like a cup final or a league game. And the attitude was just what I want throughout the squad. And we go to rugby in the next round and then gives you another opportunity to give the squad a run out. Absolutely, that's why you know it's not miles away, it's a nice ground, it's better than training and it, again it gives boys who have not been playing on the Saturday another chance to go and get some minutes and impress me and get, you know, get themselves ready for when they're called upon.
we'll put that behind us. And uh, I know we talked briefly on Saturday about Lincoln, and uh, we know all about Lincoln. In fact, we're going to play them four times in about six weeks, actually, because we've got them on the 20th. But they're here on Saturday, and uh, I, you, uh, you uh, kind of uh, counted my talk about revenge, so we won't talk about revenge. But it's a real opportunity to get uh, this home form back on track. Yeah, I said that tonight. You know, we said before the start, it's a cup that we want to do well in. But for me, it was an opportunity to get a win at home because um, we haven't had any recently, particularly. So we've done that, and we want to carry it on to Saturday. Yeah, we know a little bit about Lincoln. It's not about revenge for me because I want to win every game whoever it's against. Whether they've beat us, they beat us over the two games, and we shook hands. And that's football. Um, I think they've improved since that. Uh, I've got a couple of reports on them. Had them watched again tonight at Stanford, so I learned a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you know, we've, we'll train Thursday and be prepared for Saturday. And you've got a big squad to pick from got a big squad to pick from yeah not like last time not like last time no we've got a stronger score well, that doesn't always guarantee you know sometimes when you've got down to the bare bones you get a little bit extra out of people so you know we'll see what happens but i'll certainly have a good team out there on saturday and well pleased the fog kept away as well yeah fog, fog kept away the lights come back on happy days it's won the game so yeah we i think we're all pretty pleased cheers mate i don't need love.